Hi, I'm Dr. Erin Shelley. I'm a veterinarian here at Grady Vet Hospital, and today we're going to talk about vaccines and immunizations for your pets. When puppies are six to eight, eight weeks of age is when we start vaccinating them. The most important things we vaccinate for that you've probably heard of are parvo, distemper, hepatitis, and bordetella, which is kennel cough. Uh, the most important thing I think we vaccinate for is parvovirus. That's probably the, the thing you've heard most of for, in vaccines. Um, we can start vaccinating for that at six weeks of age. And, and parvo is something that dogs, it's a virus that dogs can get. It makes them very, very ill. Uh, it causes severe diarrhea and vomiting and lethargy. And in, in puppies, if it's left untreated, it can kill them. And I think it's very important for them to get their vaccines because it's 100% preventable. Um, and so if, if your puppy gets its full parvo series, it's very unlikely, if not impossible, for it to get parvo. So I think it's very important for you to come in and start getting your shots. For, for many reasons, but mainly I think for parvo. Um, I, I mainly work emergency here at Grady Vet and we see a lot of dogs coming in with parvo that are very sick and that most of them have not had their vaccines yet. So I think it's very important to get those started. It also prevents other vaccines like or diseases like we talked about, like distemper and, and hepatitis and those. Um, kittens equally should be, you know, just as vaccinated as puppies are. Um, we up, mostly vaccinate for upper respiratory diseases in kittens, like herpes virus and Khaleesi virus. And same thing with kittens, they should start at six to eight weeks of age. And depending on how old your pet is, when they first come in, and how many vaccines they've received before they got here, will will change how many vaccines we actually give them. We usually vaccinate pets until they're three to four months of age, and sometimes even longer, depending on the breed and the, and the special circumstances. Um, rabies is another important disease that we vaccinate for, and that's a virus that, that both dogs and cats can get. The, the, the pets should be at least 12 weeks of age when they get a rabies vaccine, and rabies vaccines are done once when they're puppies, and those are good for one year, and then after that, pets can receive rabies vaccines that are good for three years. So it's important for you know for you to come to your vet and start your rabies vaccines as well. Um, one other thing that I think is important to mention with vaccines is that a lot of people choose to do their vaccines at home. They purchase them from a feed store or from somewhere else. But I think it's very important for you to come to a veterinarian and get vaccines. Um, the vaccines that we see from feed stores don't work as well, and we still see puppies and kittens getting sick in spite of having gotten appropriate vaccines from a feed store. So I think it's very important to come to your vet and get those done. You can also have a full physical exam done at the time to check for any congenital abnormalities or illnesses that you might not be aware of at home. So I think even, even though it might be cheaper to go that route, I think it's very important to come to a vet and get your vaccines. Once your dog or cat has become an adult, it's still important for them to come in and get their vaccinations once a year from a vet. Like we talked about, the rabies vaccine is given every three years, but the other vaccines like distemper and, and parvo and upper respiratory complexes in cats should be given once a year. And those are given typically not when they're a year of age, but once they've had a year, a full year from their puppy shots being finished. Um, typically, we send you a reminder card in the mail when it's time for you to come in and get your shots. And it's important for you to come in and get them on time so we don't have to give any additional boosters. Um, so we pretty much vaccinate for the same things in adults. You don't have to go through the whole booster series again, but they do get a vaccine once a year for, the, for parvo and distemper and things like we talked about in cats. And we'll do other preventative care treatments at that time, like heartworm tests, flea and heartworm preventative, fecal tests, um, and, and a physical exam. Bordetella vaccines should be given once a year as well, and that's for kennel cough. In some pets, we recommend doing that twice a year, and those pets are typically ones that are at high risk for being exposed to Bordetella or kennel cough, and those would be dogs that go to boarding kennels frequently or doggy daycares or are in closed, confined spaces with other dogs. Once your pet is vaccinated, um, it's a good idea to keep an eye on them at home for a couple hours after their vaccines. Most vaccines are very safe and we hardly see any side effects from. Some pets can have allergic reactions to vaccines and this can happen in dogs or cats. Signs that you typically see, um, if you see a little bit of lethargy and soreness at the vaccine site, that's normal and not, not an adverse side effect. If you see severe lethargy, vomiting, diarrhea, facial swelling, or hives, it's very important to bring your pet right back to the veterinarian because that can be signs of a more severe vaccine reaction that might need to be treated. Um, vaccine reactions can happen at any age. It can happen with the very first puppy shot. It can happen when they're a couple years old, even if they've had vaccines in the, in the past. So it's very important to watch them closely for any signs after their vaccine and bring them in right away if you're, if you're concerned at all. I hope you've learned a lot about vaccines for your pets, some information you might have already known, but hopefully you picked up a couple new things as well. 
Uh, if you want to start your vaccines here at Grady Vet, just give us a call and we can get you scheduled to, to see a vet and, and start, your, start your vaccines. When you first come in for a new puppy or kitten vaccines, we have kits for you that have a full outline of what vaccines you should be getting and when, as well as other information about raising a new puppy or kitten, housebreaking, uh, deworming, anything you need to know about a puppy. So be sure you pick one of those up when you come in.